Whoa, this is why I don't like making YouTube videos. I'm not very good at YouTube videos. I'm good at streams. So recently on stream, we played Signalis and we played through and got the memory ending, which is a normal ending, and also the artifact ending, which is the secret hidden true ending. But it's really hard to get. And some of the written walkthroughs we used for guidance weren't up to scratch. So I wanted to make this so that anyone who wanted to do exactly the same thing had a very easy and obvious guide to follow. Now, to unlock the artifact ending, we need to unlock this wall safe in the Radio Shack. We go to the Radio Shack twice in the game, one at the beginning and one at the end. When we go in there at the end, we need to be carrying three keys with us. The key of love, the key of eternity, and the key of sacrifice. And here's how to find them. Once you have your radio module, head to the isolation room on the second floor of Leng. That's Sapinski, where you actually pick up the radio module. Lock in frequency 96 and go to the red room with four cages in it. Now be careful, there's an enemy here, but you should be fine. Go to the bottom right hand cage and examine it. Now you might need to examine it a couple of times, but eventually you will pick up the key of love. The key of eternity is in the dark bedroom, also on Leng in Sapinski, so same place, on the 8th floor. Now, when you can access the 8th floor with the torch module, set your radio frequency to 65. Be careful, though, there are four enemies in this room. Clear the room out, set your frequency to 65, and go to the back of the L-shaped room. There is a bookcase there. Examine that bookcase, and you will find the key of eternity. And last, but by no means least, is the key of sacrifice. Now, as soon as you get to Rot Front, you want to try and find your way into the Ito back rooms. Now, you'll figure this out. This is just a puzzle in the game. You'll figure this out because it leads to a story item. But one thing you need to be aware of is if you leave this area with that story item, the area will lock and you will not be able to get the key. So the second you go through this door, the second you find yourself in this kind of corridor library, this back rooms, lock your frequency locator into frequency 240. You want radio frequency 240, and then you want to go just to the left of this book here, have a look at this bookcase, and you will unlock the key of sacrifice. So that's it. Play the game as normal from now. Once you've solved the final puzzle, crawl into the hole, find yourself into the radio shack, and unlock the wall safe. But wait, there's more. There's a keypad that we need to figure out as well. Now, I'm sure we all made note of that very long, incomprehensible number that Ariane gave us at the beginning of the game, right? Nope, me neither. So here it is. 39486 60170 24326 01064 and I'll have that in the description as well so you can note it down. Unlock the three padlocks, type in the number, press the enter key and turn the knob and you will get the lily and this will unlock the artifact ending for you. You don't need to fight the final boss, you don't need to do anything else, just enjoy the ride. Now I hope this has been really helpful. I don't normally make YouTube videos like this, I normally stream and then I normally cut together streams even if I'm doing tutorial stuff like this. So I hope this was useful. If you want to join us live, you can join us on twitch.tv forward slash wholesome horror gaming. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you later. Let's get this pointed towards me, so that's a little bit better. <clears throat> and then let's go, hello everyone, welcome to Wholesome Horror Gaming. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Hello, I know. I've got ginger beer too.